Hey folks, I'm Mike. Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this blog ad free. <laughs> Hey folks, welcome to Inkdependence.com. I'm Mike, and this is PenBBS128. That is Santorini. That is this ink. Comes in this nice 60 mil bottle for 16 bucks. Good graphic label on here. I really like what they did here. Uh, it also tells you what the uh, what the ink is. Unlike this or like orangey one I have that doesn't like if I didn't know what this was, I actually put it. I taped a thing on the back. So this one tells you what it is. Nice bright label. I approve of that. See, there's a lot of blue going on here. This is meant to bring bring to mind the blue domes in Ia, which is in Greece. Uh, it is a, uh, a town that overlooks like a volcanic caldera, which is pretty darn cool. And actually, if you go and Google around, you'll see all kinds of beautiful pictures. Of just like picturesque blue skies above, bright blue seas below, and then these gorgeous blue domes on white buildings uh, all over that city. All right, let's look at it on some paper. All right, there you go. This is my uh, Galen leather writing board that's made for this uh, this Rhodia pad. And this paper is uh, my usual Rhodia 80 GM squared paper. It is, of course, coated, so you're not really going to get a lot of, like, you're not going to bleed through or anything. I got a little bit of something here and here, it looks like. Just a tiny little bit coming through, which is a little bit unusual, but I kind of think this particular pad of paper is not the best Rhodia's ever made, but we'll suffer through. This is, as you can see, a nice bright blue, sky blue, sea blue, a little bit of shading action here and there, not a ton, and um, it's, uh, you get like a little bit of, uh, of sheen, actually, when you write with it with uh, one nib, and a little bit of shading with the other, so depending on what nib you put in here, it's going to be, uh, you know, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I've got it in two pens, this is a pen I've added in for a little while, this is a Platinum 3776 Nice Pure, and it has a broad nib on it, and, uh, from this nib, you get something that's very reminiscent of this swatch, actually, which is this kind of, um, uh, I don't know, lighter blue, I suppose, with no real sheen that I can see, but plenty of uh, shading here and there. And then this pen is a brand new pen to us uh, that Audrey just picked up. This is a Pilot Custom Heritage 92, and it's got a fine nib, which is the other end of the spectrum. It went from uh, broad to Japanese fine. And uh, as you can see, it's a very different sort of look for this ink. Uh, we get more sheen here, less shading it seems, although on a coated paper you will sometimes get some shading where it's like lighter up here you begin a stroke and darker down at the bottom where I end it. So that's a thing you get there. Uh, and I, I gotta say, on the uh, 20 pound paper, man, this is not doing super well. So this is the, the line down here, of course, and the top line is that broad, the bottom line is the fine. And I was actually kind of disappointed by how the fine behaved. Um, I, there's a thing with fine nibs sometimes. People say, get a fine nib if you're going to write on bad paper, and that's not really always true. Um, so on this one, you can see the fine bled through uh, at least as much as the broad, and maybe actually a bit more, I think. Uh, and it also was subject to some some spread. We've got some feathers in here. And sometimes that's because the nib might be so fine that it actually like cuts through some of the the the, um, uh, the the texture, like the paper fibers on here. And so you get this spread more than you do with the broad nib, which is much smoother and like wider and goes across them. So uh, like you got to know your nib and your paper, but this is about the worst paper around. So uh, that it bleeds in feathers and spreads is to be expected, but don't use this on your, your crappy office paper because you're not going to like it very much probably. But on Rhodia and on anything even, you know, a little bit better than that terrible copy paper, which is 30% recycled, 100% weak sauce. You, uh, you're you going to probably like this one. It is a beautiful ink, uh, and I, I like it quite a lot. I mean, it was the first ink I thought of inking up this pen for Audrey. This is a nice piston filler. It's blue. I'm putting this nice blue in there, and it's been pretty good so far on everything except for that stuff. So uh, there you go. Um, I, I really I think this is a real pretty blue. I mean, you know I like blues already, but this kind of blue is really in my wheelhouse. I don't have too many that are exactly like it. We'll... Um, I don't have any that are exactly like it. I don't have too many that are all that close. So we'll look at some uh, some samples here in just a little bit and see if we can find something that's kind of close. Uh, let me do a water test right quick. We'll look at the chromatography. We'll look at it on some other papers. And we'll look at some uh, some comparable inks. Let's get some of this water on here. Get some on the words. There we go. Let's kind of squish it around. There we are. All right. All right, it's definitely swirling around. I'm not really expecting any water resistance from this ink, but you never know. I've been surprised in the past. I don't think I'm going to be surprised this time, though. I 
think I know what's up with this one. And there you go. Yeah, even just sitting there for a minute and getting sort of blotted off. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much gone. So no water resistance on this one. Don't get this one near your uh, near your your water glass and dump it all over your work because it'll be pretty much gone instantly. So that sucks. But uh, that's what you get sometimes with blues. Uh, not everybody's getting an ink that they need to be waterproof, you know. Uh, and I think this ink looks really nice in both of these uh, these nibs. You get a different character from the smaller nib than the larger one, but that's the way it goes. All right, let's take a look at the chromatography right quick. It is there. And as you can see, there's just no real water resistance showing here. It's just uh, totally gone from where it started and it all moved up the page. Also, not a lot going on in here. What's in this blue? There is blue in this blue. This, this ink is blue on blue. So there you go. All right, so I got on a couple of other papers. I've got it here on, uh, let's say, currently inked notebook. This is wheat straw paper, which I, I'm a huge fan of wheat straw paper. I think it's probably the best bang for the buck uh, for like reams of paper and stuff. So here it is in the fine, which is a brand new inking. I only inked it up on the, on the 17th. So it's just a couple of days ago, really. But I just wanted to see how it was in this nib. And it's pretty good. You get some of the shading here. You can probably see some shading here and there throughout uh, when you pull that down. And then... Uh, here you'll see that we have uh, the broad nib and I think it I think it really kind of shines in this broad nib it gives it some space to spread out uh, it doesn't pack all that color in like one little bit and then give you that sheen I think it gives you a nice uh, nice character all right also have it here on some Tomoe River in an ink journal you can find those at inkjournal.com there's the line for the Santorini down here you can get this on here there we go and uh, you can see there that is really nice here on Tomoe River. Of course, no bleed through or spread or feathering or any of that nastiness on here. Just a little bit of uh, shading, a little bit of sheen actually, where it pools and that sort of thing. And then here on the next page, I've got the uh, the fine nib. And you can see, I think the broad nib is definitely better on the pin or on the um, Tomoe River, which is kind of the way it goes a lot of times. You get more ink down and that sort of thing. But and this looks perfectly fine. It's just not super, not super cool. I think it's a little bit better in the broad if you ask me. All right, uh, let's look at some comps. So here is PinVBS Santorini. And then here, let's see, I've tried to find some some inks that are pretty close, and I've got a couple that are pretty close. Here's um, Irishizuku's Kanpeki. Kanpeki is definitely a lighter blue than this, but I think there's a lot of similarity uh, in the light bits of Santorini and the, the darkest bits of Kanpeki. They've got a little bit of the same thing going on, especially here versus here. Same kind of same kind of jam. Uh, and then here is one that I really like. I, I forget how much I like this sometimes. This is uh, Robert Oster's Blue Water Ice. You get a lot more sheen from this one. I mean, look at that. Look at that sheen. It's glowing red there. Uh, you don't really get that kind of sheen from Santorini, although you do have a little bit here-ish. But uh, fairly close colors. I think Santorini's maybe a little bit more... Uh, a little bit like more violet or something, perhaps, but not too much. Then uh, Monteverde. Last two are Monteverdes. This is this is Horizon Blue, which I think is a gorgeous blue. And you get the dark bits of Horizon Blue and the dark bits of Santorini. I think they're pretty close. In the lighter parts, maybe not as close, but pretty close in the darker bits for Santorini and Horizon Blue. This is one of my favorites. Just a little bit darker. And then Monteverde Capri Blue, which I haven't had a chance to use, but it's got the same kind of character going on, I think, as Santorini. Santorini is a bit darker than Capri, but they've both got the same general sort of shades going on. All right, so there you go. This has been Pen BBS number 128, Santorini. Thanks again to Van S. Pens for providing this ink for review. Uh, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell to know when I'm going live on Friday afternoons uh, for chats and such, and I will see y'all later. Peace out.